Okay guys, um, today is another um, demonstration on how I create my videos. Um, so just like in the last one, um, I am going to open up ChatGPT. And I am going to attempt to get all the way through this just using the default version, uh, ChatGPT 3.5. Um, it's usually sufficient. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. All right. So the second thing I want to do is determine which video it is that I want to edit. So, um, and again, we're going to be editing one of my previous ones to update it to the new format. Um, so let's open up Sublime. And it looks like the last one I did was example three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up example four. Let's close example two and close example 107. Um, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and, um, oh, no, I'm sorry. The first thing I want to do is copy this prompt over um, from Notepad. That. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, we'll keep that. Um, let's see. Here we go. This is what I want. All right. Analyze the provided video generation code to demonstrate your understanding of it. Focus on evaluating the coding style, structure, and underlying principles while disregarding the video's content. So, copy that, paste it into here, and of course the video code that it's going to be analyzing is this example number three, which is the one that we generated in the last video. So I'm just going to have this analyze the code. All right. All right, so now that it's analyzed it, let's give it another prompt. Um, okay, I want to create the blocks for a new video coded in this exact style, showing all the steps of how to solve, um, no, that's not it. I require modifications to certain code block, yeah, this is the one, this is the refined prompt from last time, if you remember. All right, let's just read it. I require modifications to certain code blocks so that they match precisely with the format and style of the provided code sample. This task involves adhering strictly to the structure and content parameters of the create block function calls in the example. Each block call needs to include an explanatory text. Yeah, the first argument must be a raw string. Yeah, this text can be incorporated. Uh, text can incorporate link text. That's correct. All right, I'm not going to stop reading now. Pause time. Yeah. All right. So you'll notice at the beginning of the prompt, uh, modifications to certain code blocks. All right. So I need to spell, say that here are the blocks to be modified. And the blocks I want to modify are from my original example number four video. So let's go ahead and open a file. I believe I saved this as problem four. Yeah, problem four. Let's go ahead and open that up. All right. This looks like we're evaluating sine 2x over x squared. Um, all right, so these are the blocks. In other words, these are the these are the blocks that I want to modify. So let's just copy these and post them into the chat and see what it does.
All right. Let's uh, let's see if this worked. That was very fast. You, you'll notice ChatGPT 3.5 is much, much faster than ChatGPT 4. It's not as smart sometimes, but for, for simple coding tasks like this, it's usually sufficient. Um, it looks like... Okay, it's scaled the, the uh, explanation scale and the equation scale are both scaled to one. So let's see if this fits. We may need to make some modifications. All right, so now what I want to do is create a new file. And don't forget, all we did was modify code blocks. So we want the um, the main, like the actual code, like the non-block parts of the code, to remain the same. So I'm going to copy this over into this new file and just delete the blocks. All the create block uh, calls will be deleted and replaced by the this one that ChatGPT just created. All right. I plan on showing you how I do a, uh, a video from scratch when I don't have anything to copy also. All right, so it definitely, uh, these things need to be aligned properly. But what I'm going to do is just to test to see if these things are working, I'm going to comment these out by pressing highlighting them and pressing the cons control forward slash button. So those won't actually be uh, included in the code when I compile it. And now uh, let's change this to example four. Um, and let's go ahead and change the title to um, the integral that we're actually evaluating. So change the following title to, and then I'll put it in parentheses, quotation marks. And um, I need to see uh, what exactly the integral is. I think it's sine uh, 2x over um, sine, two, okay, no. I think it's sine 2x over x squared, but I want to make sure. All right, uh, manage videos. Um, and let's see, example four. Why does it not come up? Show all. All right, there we go. So this is, okay, there we go. Five minute, yeah, sine squared x over x squared. So that is example number four. So I want to change this too, and now let's open up Desmos. Um, integral from zero to infinity of sine squared x over x squared dx. And you, okay, it actually gave the answer of pi over two in Desmos, which is surprising, because if you do this, it gives you undefined. But apparently, they can figure that one out. Um, all right. So continuing, we say change the following title to, uh, and then we want to just say the evaluation of this. Copy it, paste it, and then what title are we changing? We want to change this title. Copy. So it'll change the title that's already there to this using the prop, hopefully using the proper uh, formatting method. So now it gives me a new title. I just copy it and Control V, and hopefully that will work. Now I'm going to hit Control S to save, um, and this is going to be example four. All right. Um, so now I right click on this and go into the terminal using the administrative uh, with an admin privileges. Okay, and 
my directory is one drive oops cd one drive And then if I just hit the tap the up button, I get a bunch of previous commands that I've used. Um, I might have to, okay, there we go. All right, so this is the command prompt uh, to encode a video um, from a script. And this is example four, so I wanna make sure I change all this, example four, and all the other settings should be correct. I do it in two FPS for testing purposes with the resolution of, uh, the 240p and we'll just see if, if this creates a valid um, file for us to watch it looks like it's going to and let's see um, five minute integration media videos example for 240p let's just see what happens now evaluation okay so it changed the title correctly and the integral we will be evaluating in this example is this. Great. Okay. So now let's go ahead and uncomment the rest of the stuff and see if it compiles. I'm very, I'm very impressed with, uh, with how ChatGPT 3.5 is actually handling this. So we'll uncomment those. And now we have the tedious task. If anybody knows a better way to do this, to auto have it automatically align, with this first one, please tell me, because I have to do this. Tab, one, two, three, and then press the space button three times, every time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tab, space, space, space. Tab, space, space, space. And I have to do this all the way down. And let's see if it if it gives us something usable. I can control S again. I'll go over here and delete that video so it doesn't have problems. Then I'll just press the up arrow in our command prompt here to repeat the last prompt. And let's see if it generates usable, if the code it generated is usable. And I will be right back. No, I'll, I'll stop. This should be pretty fast. It's only in uh, it's only in two forty p at two frames per second, so it does not take very long to compile. So this might be a much shorter video than my last one. Everything seems to be going smooth. Um, that may be due to the uh, prompt refinement that we did in the previous video. Oh, wow. Uh, we have literally not gotten one single error, and that is not typical, just FYI. Um, usually, it will make some sort of mistake. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, great. We're going to evaluate that in a bit. Yeah. That's right, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be using the previously derived result. Yeah, let's define a function of t, great. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. And now, realize, okay, here we go. Um, so this, this block right here is scaled too high. All right, so let's, uh, it has this part, it says, given what you have seen so far, you understand I think what it's supposed to say, hopefully, given what you have seen so far, you understand the motivation behind this choice. So let's identify that. So I'll hit Control F and then hope. There we go. Hopefully. So it looks like there's no equation uh, line in this block. You'll notice most of them have an ex what I call an explanation line. That's this. And an equation line. This one has no equation. So... Um, I'm going to change our explanation our explanation scale. Let's try scaling it down to 0 0.9 and see if that gives us something we can use. See if that fits. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to comment out everything else. I'm going to close this also. And we will try just compiling that video with that block. So I hit Control S for save. I go in here, tap the up arrow, and compile it. All right, that was very quick because we're only compiling one block. All right. Oops, okay. Let's see if it gave us. Nope, I gotta scale it down just a little bit. Let's try eight uh, point eight five, because so I always like it to have it at the maximum scale that will fit. And I could probably um, have ChatGPT try to do that on its own. I've tried that before um, with mixed results. Um, usually, it it really doesn't it doesn't know. Um, what scale to put based on what's there. It, it has a really hard time with that. So I've, I found I just have to do that manually. All right, so I saved it. Let's go back and compile it and see if it fits this time. There we go. All right, so that's good. All right, so... Now let's, uh, we'll comment this out and continue on. I will recomment all these things back in and see if we get any other, uh, scaling errors. So I have to save that and let's compile again. Again, should not take that long. I started a new uh, YouTube video channel where I'm, I'm going to do blind Let's Plays of uh, popular video games. I'm doing um, Starfield right now, um, and I have two subscribers. <laughs> They're both my other channels. Um, if you wanted to, I'll, I'll post a link to that video in the description if you want to check it out. I'm very new to the Let's Play scene. All right, let's just see what we got. My plan is eventually maybe, um, all right, let's continue. Evaluating the function of key points we have. I want to eventually be a full-time content creator on YouTube. Um, right now I do a, a combination of, uh, ah, here we go. All right, so, Using the Leibniz rule for differentiation? Okay, so we definitely have an issue here. All right. Um, let's find the offending block. Yeah, eventually, I want to be a full-time uh, YouTube content creator. Um, I do Right now, I do a combination. Uh, I'm basically a, a gig economy worker. I do, uh, I work for Varsity Tutors as a Calculus, Calculus 2, and, you know, I think that's the highest level uh, course I'm certified to tutor is Calculus 2 or Calculus AB. Um, and then I also do um, Remo Tasks. I'm an expert, uh, an expert tasker on Remo Tasks, and, um, and that's it. That's how I make my money. Hopefully I can start bringing in some money from YouTube eventually, too. I really like working from home. Um, let's see. So what was I doing? We're, we're trying to... F uh, okay. We want that. So we want to change that. So I'm going to search for Leibniz. Okay, it didn't... I believe this is it. Why does it look like... Okay, maybe that is a Z. All right. So there's a problem with this block, and we need to figure out what it is. Well, okay, so the explanation scale is scaled way down. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the explanation scale back up to 1. 
and we're going to do the equation scale. And I know this is a very long equation, so I'm going to put it to 0 0.7. And we're going to try that. We're going to comment out everything that has uh, come before it. And um, actually, I'll leave the other stuff uh, in. So I'll hit Control Save, Control S for Save. And now let's try to compile that and see what this gives us. There's probably much more efficient ways to do what I'm doing. Um, but I'm still learning. So I am going to need to slightly scale down, maybe by a factor of 0.25 on our explanation scale. All right. So our x, our, I mean our equation scale. My equation scale, or the equation line almost fits. So I'm going to do 6.75. Oops. 0.675, I mean. And let's scale the explanation down to 0 0.9. 0 0.9. And now we'll save that. And close this out. And see what we get now. This will probably be okay. I might need to scale down the explanation line a little bit more. Okay, so it looks like there's actually quite a bit more to this uh, equation. So we're going to scale it all the way down to 5. And we will scale our explanation down to 8. So I'm going to put this all the way down to half the normal scale. And we will put this to 8. Now that's going to be really hard for somebody on a cell phone to read. But these videos are designed for people to view on like a laptop, an iPad, or even a desktop PC. These aren't cell phone videos. I use the free version of pretty much everything except ChatGPT. Right. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want this. There we go. All right. This should probably fit. I hope I don't have to scale anything down anymore, because that was uh, that was getting pretty. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that fits. All right, good. I could make that. I could make this. Uh, I could make that equation a little bit bigger. So I'm going to, because I definitely, I always try to make these things as big as possible while still fitting. So let's see if six works. And I'm going to comment out the rest of the stuff. Just for faster compiling. All right. So I save it, go back into my command prompt, and we'll compile it. And it'll automatically replace this file. Good. That's perfect. That's what I want. All right. So, like I said, that would be very difficult to see on a, on a cell phone. But on a uh, desktop PC, I, I don't even have a problem reading that at 240p. So it's definitely sufficient if you're doing it from a desktop or a laptop or even an iPad or some sort of tablet. Just not a cell phone. All right. So that's good. So we'll comment it out. continue with the rest of the video and see what we get. Save. Compile. 
probably going to have to do some more adjustments. But that's okay. It's part of it. I'm, I'm very surprised that we didn't get any actual errors uh, from ChatGPT, especially considering that we're using the 3. Point, just the regular 3.5 version. Okay. Um, we focused. All right. Okay, so it looks like it's just cutting um, out the wee part, so we'll just have to scale this down a little bit. So I'm going to search for from example 3. Uh, yeah, so this doesn't have an equation skit or an equation line, so... Uh, What does that actually say? It says, as we know. So I'm going to have to scale that back uh, a bit. Because um, it's cutting off the AS and space and part of the W in that. So let's change it to 0 0.85 and see what that gives us. And I'll comment out the rest of the stuff. Hit Control S. Close the video. And... Um, Let's see. No. Compile it. Sorry, guys, I had to get up. Uh, maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe I won't. All right, let's see what we got. Good. All right, that'll work. All right, so we'll close that and continue on. Seeing if the rest need adjustment. All right, um, you know what, most of the time, um, I just like my explanations to always be at 0.8, so I'm going to set them all to 0 0.8, um, because they're, te they're usually quite a bit longer than, uh, my equations. So, let's just get set up here. We'll just set them all to 0 0.8. That's already 0 0.8. Save that and compile again. Yeah, that was one mistake that ChatGPT three made was it didn't it didn't automatically set the explanation scale to point eight. All right, so now we're good. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. All right. 
and I'll actually check the factual information to make sh as soon as uh, okay all right so now that's done um, everything is good everything fits so now I'm going to recompile the entire thing and actually check it for accuracy to make sure it didn't change something that I did not want it to change. Because I gave it the freedom to correct, um, to rewrite things and correct them if necessary. And I shouldn't have done that with ChatGPT3 because it's not very good at math. There, there aren't very many AIs right now that are any good at math. ChatGPT4 is probably the best and it still is not very good. It's, it's just not creative. Um, okay, so we'll save that. It's great at coding. It's great at a lot of things. It's just not very good at math. All right, this will take about seconds, I imagine. And then we will check this thing for accuracy. While we're at it, I think maybe I will try to find the music file that I will be using. Let's see, music for videos. So I've already used these ones recently. So let's just, uh, let's check this one out. See if this one's any good for... That'll work. Just any of that free domain uh, classical music will definitely work. So I'm going to cut that, put it in my used folder, paste it, then copy it. Uh, yeah, copy it here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll copy it here. All right. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Okay, this is done compiling now. So let's view the video and now we're going to check it. And actually, before I do that, let's add some music to it so it's a little bit uh, a little bit nicer to watch. So I'm gonna copy this merge video audio batch file that I have over here, paste it, and literally just hit enter. And it should combine that, uh, that piece of classical music with my video, and it's really, really fast. So now we'll, we'll check this out. And you can see it, it added the audio. That's our integral we're evaluating. Yep, we derived that in the last video. and so that X will cancel. It'll cancel one of those X's in the bottom. Yeah, sine of zero is zero, sine of zero squared is zero, integral of zero is zero, and F of one is our original integral. That's right. Yep. And I should do this in every single one of my videos. I should actually put DDT outside and then a partial inside. And I know I skip this part in a lot of my videos because you probably are all familiar with this, but this one really spells it out exactly what's happening. Um, this uh, sine squared TX becomes a uh, two times the derivative of T with respect to, uh, with the derivative of TX with respect to X or with respect to T, which is just two X. And then we have uh, sine tx, cosine tx, which is just sine of 2tx. I should do that in every single one of my videos. Yep. Looking good. Yep. Yep. 
that's it. All right. And that's it. We're done. Um, now all that's left for me to do is compile it in 1080p at 60 frames per second, um, merge the audio and video, and then upload it to YouTube. Oh, no, there's a couple more things that we want to do first. I'm going to show you how I generate, well, I think I did it in my last video, but we'll, we'll go ahead and generate a description. Um, all right. Create a title and description for a YouTube video based on a specific mathematical problem. All right, let's see. Let's see how, how ChatGPT 3.5 does on this part. All right. So we'll actually open up. No, I don't want this. We'll actually open up a, uh, a new chat. So we'll go for a new chat. And then I'll paste that in. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So here's the man in code. So I specified that it's to generate the description based on the specific man in code, which is going to be the, uh, the code for the video we just made. So let's just see what happens. Okay, it, it added a little bit of, okay. I, I like how it actually used the infinity sign. I, I like that. All right, that'll work. Yeah, so this is this is literally uh, the description that I'm going to be using. Now this is a, uh, this, this part right up here, subscribe to our channel for more uh, advanced math content. Um, this is kind of a, uh, a ninja link. Um, I'm going to put this at the beginning of every one of my descriptions because if you click on this, um, it will bring you to a page that prompts you to subscribe to my channel. Um, and I know it's a little bit sneaky, but it was recommended by a... Uh, a, a um, YouTube content creator that, you know, I respect, um, and he, he said to do that, that it would get me more subscribers, so I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, this goes at the beginning of every single one of my videos now, and it's just a link to my channel with the, uh, with the uh, parameter subscription confirmation equals one, so if you click on that, you'll be prompted to subscribe to the channel. All right. Um, so that's going to be my um, my title almost. I'm, I'm going to change it to Feynman Integration Example 4 and then a hyphen evaluating the integral of this from 0 to infinity and I will get rid of that advanced calculus part. But that's it guys. That is, um, there's another video down. I might do one more example where I show how to uh, create new code based off of existing code, and then I will show you, I, I'm going to be making a fresh video. Um, I will need ChatGPT4 for that, and I have run out of prompts. That's the reason I'm using 3.5 today. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.